Dude, I can play Bandit's Tale and I'm so f***ing happy. That is so worth it. Carvac playing Bandit's Tale from the graveyard is a f***ing play, though. That's so sick. No, okay, we love that. All right, Carvac, you do a good job, Carvac. What's up, my furry friends? Welcome to another Bloomboro Standard video. And today we are playing the rack, which is Mono Black Discard. And this deck kind of works because of these new cards from Bloomboro. One of them, and probably the most important card, being Bandit's Talent. This is a two mana enchantment class. When Bandit's Talent enters, each opponent discards two cards, unless they discard a non land card. You can level that up for one black mana. Then at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, they lose two life. So that's just a fantastic way to completely drain your opponent out of the game in a discard deck like this. And then we have the level 3, which is 4 mana. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card for each opponent who has one or fewer cards in hand, which is just like very evil. You know, like you're out here discarding everything and we're out here drawing an additional card um, on our, during our draw step. Super sweet. More cards from uh, Bloomberg that support this archetype are Cruel Claws Heist is a 2 mana sorcery. Gift the card, you can choose to do that. And target opponent reveals your hand, you choose a Nolan card from it, exile the card. If the gift was promised, you may cast a card for as long as it remains exiled. And mana of any type can be spent to cast it. I never really like gift the card of this thing. I just think it's kind of like a two mana thought sees is how I'm looking at it. Um, so I think that's still like, you know, effective enough. Ruthless Negotiation is also in a deck. This is super efficient. Um, discard spell from Bloombro, one mana. Target opponent exiles a card from the hand. If the spell was cast from a graveyard, draw a card. I guess like discard cards isn't really the right way to say it because these cards are like exiling from hand. So things like um, that, that actually actively like want to look for the word, the word like discarding these cards, they don't really work with that. But we just want to make sure that our opponent like doesn't have cards in their hand. Things like Ruthless Negotiation and Cruel Claws Heist do the trick for us. Thoughtstalker Warlocks also from Blue Bro. I initially had four in this deck, but I went down to two because I felt like we had too much discard in here. Um, when it enters, Choose target opponent. If they lost life this turn, they reveal their hand. You choose a null myth card from it and discard that card. Otherwise, they discard a card. So just a nice three mana creature when it enters, discard a card. Uh, but it also has some selection, which is uh, nice because we're still playing a decent amount of creatures in here, like Vatmir New Blood. Like one of the things that I, you know, we struggled with initially was that you, you know, you do still want to have blockers on the board. And Vatmir is just super nice because all of these like discard and exile cards are ways to commit crimes. And Vetmir, if eventually gets four counters, it gets lifelink and makes it a lot better against like uh, a lot of aggro decks that are currently happening on the ladder. I'm also playing Carvac the Punisher, so you see quite a crime theme happening here. And Carvac is just super sweet because Carvac replays all these like discard cards. And Braids is an efficient way to sacrifice some of these discard permanent cards, like Hopeless Nightmare and Tiny Bones joins up. Both of these like one mana enchantments can just be sacrificed to Braids and then replayed with like uh, Carvac if we want to. But also, like, if Braid sacrifices these enchant enchantments, usually we get, like, you know, two damage out of that and a card, which is just super sweet and uh, does the trick. Outside of that, it's just paired with some good removal, some cut downs, some gopher throats. Liliana, obviously, uh, awesome in this deck with her uptick of discarding and her uh, downtick of target player sacrificing a creature. And with that, it is just 75 cards of pure evil. I mean, there's nothing else to say about it. It truly is, like, probably... Yeah, I would say it's probably like as evil as like a, you know, a mill deck, but is it just so good to be like cute against a Gandalf and they just, there's nothing they can do. They lose their whole hand and it just feels so sweet. So if you're in the mood to do something evil, I can definitely recommend this uh, mono black discard deck because it will do exactly that and will feel great as you, uh, you know, make your opponent suffer basically <laughs> so let's get into the gameplay so you can see how my opponent suffered before we get started here don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me out and uh, you don't want to miss out on any of my bloomboro brews so make sure to subscribe and with that being said gamers it's time for some evil stuff and to make our opponent's life absolutely miserable to the point that they will basically concede every game and uninstall arena after let's go this video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard, premium protection for your trading cards. And thanks to Ultimate Guard, I get to give away not one, but two Zipfolio 360 Xeno skins with the new art from Bloom Barrow on them. If you want to participate in this giveaway, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below where you let me know your favorite Bloom Barrow creature type, and also follow me on Twitch. Winners for this giveaway will be chosen on August 5th, 
So make sure to keep an eye out for that. And in the meantime, you can check out the incredible range of Bloom Barrow products over on the Ultimate Guard website using my link down below. Thank you so much, Ultimate Guard, for sponsoring this giveaway and the video. And now let's get back to the gameplay. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. Don't mind it. The most scuffed you've seen a client in a while. A little. Target opponent exiles a card. I wonder if you might want, like, Carvac in a deck like this, too. Carvac replays, like, all these spells. Wait, Carvac and Ruthless Negotiation? All right. Pause, champ. We need to go back. We need to go back. We need Carvac. That's, that's, that's a sick combo. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. We want Carvac. All right. Because you, you draw a card of your Ruthless Negotiation. That's pretty sweet. We want that. Yeah, we want that. What is this? Mono uh, Gandalf? All right. Yeah, yeah we, want, we want card back for sure. All right, bestie. What are you going to do? Play one ring emperor? Aha, uh -huh, you fucking won't. You fucking can't. I mean, they'll run out at some point, right? No, they won't. Why are people still... So <laughs> okay. Out of everything that you could be doing right now, you're playing blue-eyed control. Okay. I mean, good luck. It's a weird flex. But okay. We got a pretty good matchup there, though. We need Karvac in this deck. Like, don't make me forget, chat. <laughs> we do be needing uh, Karvac. Yes. Can you use the, uh, the mana they kindly gave me to sort my shit out? Yes, I will, Liliana. Yar. This is where Bandit's crazy. Yeah, it would be nice if I had it, but they countered it. Womp womp womp. Womp womp womp. Oh, I can check my opponent's graveyard. <laughs> Makes me tweak a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting me on YouTube. What do you want to do? This -y? All right, Liliana of the Ville. Oh, I'll take her. Get rid of their last card. No more lies. They can animate that. I have a go for the throat for the next time they try it, though. Damn, they actually kept it on top. Okay. Guess I have to like cast this now. Or play that. Fuck him up. Well, Liliana's gonna get him, which is kind of unfortunate, but I think we're pretty much in control right now. I hope. Oh, Bennett's talent. I cannot play it out right now, though, because they have the silly ass no more lies. So we might want to like bait it with a counter. Um, I'm trying to remove the land. We bait the counter spell out. Probably. The deuce. Sure. If 
If they animate now, they're kind of silly. They're looking, yeah, they're looking for the emperor. <laughs> uh, God, I'm gonna like, I just, I, I just, I can't stop laughing every time. I, I gotta laugh. It's such a great moment that they cannot be saved by the wandering emperor. Like, very pleasing. Very pleasing. She's not gonna save you, bestie. She can't save you. All right, Bandit's Talon should absolutely slay here. Nah, don't worry about it. I'll pay. Don't worry about it. She can't fix you. <laughs> it's true. Like, all right. We're gonna get the Bandit Talons to level up. And we're good to go. Bye, bestie. You bet you were hoping to queue into aggro. <laughs> well, not even. They just had counter spells. Wait, I can't feel the... Oh my god! Wait, wait, they just conceded. Okay, 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 they just conceded because I was like, I can't even look at the board. Okay, that's fine. Let's do it. Storm Chaser is bugged. If you go over 100 copies, you'll free free freeze the client. <laughs> of course, of course you do. Roll of Wisdom doesn't lower costs with Otter in play. God damn, bro. God damn. God damn. All right, not a whole lot of discarding right now. Do have a lot of uh, removal, though. God, I really wish Ruthless Negotiation and Carvac worked. That would have been so fucking sick. Ugh, damn you, Wultzy. Damn you. Oh, well. Hope we don't get liliana -ed. But I hope we're against bats, not mid-range. Okay. It's the little Thought Stalker Warlock, but I'm gonna probably remove this bat and then replay Ruthless Negotiation. Cool, yeah, always getting clowned. Zero. They are playing bats. All right, sweet. I want to play my own bet. My little Eklazots. I was looking forward to uh, replaying, uh, what is it called? The Ruthless Negotiation and then getting the payoff. That's what I was looking forward to, but... Uh, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Two bad bobs. I mean, I could remove both. Um. Yeah, I think bad bobs are kind of like the anti-discard vibe, aren't they? That's a good way for them to stay alive. Well, Karvac draws from exile, or plays from exile, so you don't get the card, because you're not playing from the graveyard. It's a shame. It's an unfortunate little interaction. Anyways, we're playing 23 lands. I would love to see a fucking land. Please. Okay, at least we're committing a crime with this. We can remove Aklazots, but... Okay. okay. Mm. We're doing- we're doing okay. Like, we've got to do a little better, though. Brace can sack the tiny. Don't remove Carvac. That's fine. Carvac's been in work. Nah, isn't he? Go homie. I just wish that I could, uh... Replay something here, though. 
All right, I'll make the meal. Wish I could, man. We'll sacrifice that. I need to commit a crime. Thought Stalker is my way to do so. Really hope whatever they drew they can play out. Okay. Tiny commits a crime. All right, I think we've won the game here. Tiny commits a crime. Target the opponent. Play, go for the throw. If I had more swamps available, then I could have also replayed another tiny. Because I can't do that right now, right? Just have to still play the black, which I can't do. Okay. So then we swing. We sacrifice tiny. All right. Raising Karvac. Proving their worth, though, Loki. Good shit. Good shit. Um... This is bats. A lot of bats. <laughs> A lot of bats. Okay. A lot of bats. The draw, I guess, maybe a lily. Damn, they lose a lot of life if they play Gixus and Bed Bops. We stand Helga. She's such a such a queen. <laughs> so tiny, so delicate, such an icon. We love her. The official Helga fan group. <laughs> an Elden Ring boss. Yeah. Okay. She's just so adorable. All right. So adorable. There's one Helga fan, it's me. Yeah, and I have I have Axolotl Kiora too. We got the whole gang. And the fish is my pet, which is kind of on brand. A little, a little on brand. I shed a tear every time I have to destroy Helga. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. All right, Bandit Tail in time. We have Fountain Pour 2. Ooh. All right, the bats are going crazy. That's a good play. We do love to see that. Probably just passing the turn here and trying to get rid of a bat. So I guess I'll cut down the dude on the left, then I'll go for the throw with the dude on the right, and then Liliana should work again. Yeah, give me my cards back. Thanks. Mm, so I guess I'll do braids and buff up talent. Level up. Though the opponent's like anywhere near, you know, losing enough, having to like, you know, they're kind of screwed, which is giving them a lot of cards in hand. Oh, Liliana Warfare, I see. I'll go into I'll go into Liliana Wars, don't worry. I'll join in. Yeah, it's Liliana on Liliana violence right now. Hmm. 
I wonder if the play is to like fountain port create a fish. Is this Liliana is gonna like ult soon? Hmm, maybe it is. I'm gonna make some fishies. So you're gonna plus that. Uh So then I cannot go after I mean I can go after Liliana, but then I'd have to get rid of my Liliana. Dude, I kind of have no choice, right? We just need this opponent to like draw some lands or something and then we can cook. All right, a fish attacks Liliana. <laughs> Be funny to see. Fuck my life. Can you stop top decking, chief? Because you're going crazy over there. God damn it. Draws too good, I fear. I don't know. Draws too good. I mean, we're going to get li ulted by Liliana right now, which really sucks. Zorlene can bring back a bunch of shit too. Gain them life. Thought we had this, but we don't. Um... Let me just create something here. I don't know, maybe they give us a shit Liliana ult and we can get out of it. I don't know. Just the fact that they just drew so good, like they never hit their fourth land or fifth land, they just got bangers. Really messed this up. Let's see. You have a brew fairy super fast, best of one aggro deck. Probably mice. Uh, I'll choose a pile to sacrifice. I'll sacrifice this one. Absolutely. As long as I keep Bandit's Tail, I'm good. I'm just gonna find Black with Hopeless Nightmare. I hope. And I would draw a Warlock, but I kinda wanna find a land. Yeah, like I said, the problem is that they replay shit with Zoraline. They can replay Liliana's with Zoraline. That's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Uh, but as long as I have Bandit's Talent, there might be a way out. I don't know. Zoraline is cool card. Uh, as the kids say, we, we kind of stand. Me being the kids, I'm standing. Wow, they got themselves Lunar Convocation instead? Whoa. Alright, unfortunately, I cannot play that out. I could draw a card, though. <laughs> I, I like I just need to remove Zoraline. If I can remove Zoraline, we win this. I don't know what we have left to grab. Like I, I'm assuming there's still some go for the throws left and Damn, I mean they're playing a dangerous game here though. I need to remove Zoraline. The Liliana ult. Like, the fact that we're still somewhat in it after Liliana ult is kind of crazy, but... Speaks to the strength of Bandit's talent. 
Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna draw to deny us that. I think we're probably cooked. Well, let's go for the throw. Nope. And then we flood. What a sad way. What a sad way for at the end, you know? So sad. So sad. Dinner. All right. We got some discard effects. Um, lacking creatures again, but we'll see. You gotta believe. The homie Carvac. You probably want bitter triumphs in a deck or like something else to remove planeswalkers with. Seems to be a little bit of a problem. Just gonna like remove this because I always will. I just don't slam Liliana. Lance, now that's the next problem. Like, where is it going wrong? It should have been a win. I don't know. It can still be, but... Okay, maybe Liliana saves. I need Lance, dude. I need Lance. Cruel Claw? Hell yeah. Yep, for sure. The Narc Invocation is a pretty good counter to discard. Like, goddamn, Lunar Convocation! Maybe I should have boarded in, like... Hmm. Draw so much? Yeah, Lunar Convocation is fucking awesome. It's good shit. I feel like I have to get rid of Carvac, because I, I need to try to get the Aklazots right. Wow, they had multiple Lilianas. Oh, damn. I will create a fish. Like a baddie. It is Aklazot's time! Plus... All right, fish to Liliana because trenches. Yo, they're playing that, Bob? That could be lethal. 
fish. Get him, fish. <laughs> Go, fish. Okay, we're drawing cards at least. Let's replay tiny. And we're finally going to get a trigger on this damn bandit's talent, too. It's pretty sweet. I feel like I'm minus here. Because I don't think I want him to go like nuts. With like two dark star little guys. So I could level Bennett's talent and make them lose two life. I think I'd do that as well. I think it seems too good not to go with. They could die. Like they if they draw the wrong card, they're fucking cooked here. Okay, it's a land. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. We're in this. We're in this. That Liliana gave me hope. We're in this. Homie is playing dangerous games with this Lunar Convocation. All right, we got through it though. But that's putting up one hell of a fight. Holy shit. Scary. Surely soon we get rewarded for our efforts. Cool. Surely. Music is a bop. <laughs> yeah. We try. Is this rats? The mere rats. All right. Let's get it started. Is it Demir control? Possibly. The mere control. Hate to see ya, my homie. Cut down. I'll slam Liliana. I gotta do something. Carvac and replay a ruthless negotiation upon entering. Cool. It is actually Demir control. It's too early to call. I mean, lizards felt fucking awesome, though. I think we went like six and one with lizards. Fantastic deck. Super good. Hmm. Eight planeswalkers happening. Okay. Well. I need to stay, uh, stay discarding to ult Liliana, right? And then I can do something where I give them only Jace or only Lance or something. Uh, not the exact same. It was a little bit different. A little different. Obviously, it has a sideboard as well, which the Ash Lizard stack does not have. So not the exact same. I'll uh, make sure to update it. Bogs getting pillaged. Mm, I haven't really made a squirrel deck yet. I haven't seen people do a whole lot with it. I think squirrels are mostly used in like Insidious Roots vibes. Fuck. 
fucking chase. Wow. Okay, so they would get that. Yeah, there's no use then. They can keep my ultimate. They're my Liana from ulting. Fuck. Okay. They didn't have green mana. Yeah. This is pressure. Yo, life, thank you for three months. Appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, I would love to ult Lily, but it seems a bit impossible now. Why are so many planeswalkers happening? Like, this seems to be our biggest struggle, dude. Why the fuck are they... Why do they just do that? Why did you just chose to lose the game? The fuck? Okay. What was that? Why would they just choose to lose the game like that? Okay. <laughs> uh, control players. Am I right, guys? Never change. Yeah, I was considering bitter triumphs, but... Dude, I'm gonna create a fish. Be mad. Stay mad, bestie. Stay mad. Here's my fish. Ha. Unless they think they legitimately have like a win con in milling me, but... I mean, unless they told like Jace at some point, then maybe they could, I guess, but... Dude, I can play Bandit's Talent. I'm so fucking happy. That is so worth it. Carvac playing Bandit's Talent from the graveyard is a fucking slay, though. That's so sick. No, okay, we love that. All right, Carvac. You do a good job, Carvac. Good, good, like, good little Carvac. We stand. Okay, Planeswalkers again. Above three mana, so long goodbye is not really cooking, but it's fine. Is that a bandit's tail in my hand? Yay! I guess I should say that was a bandit's tail in my hand. Boo! <laughs> so sad. I guess they could go after Liliana too. I would probably go Liliana, maybe. It seems to be the most, like, threatening one of them all. Trenches. Trenches and garbage food. Atraxa, what? Like, why the fuck they play in Atraxa, though? Are they, like, reanimator stuff, too? No. Doing something. all over the place a little a little a little bit do 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 we're in a copious 
Hey, yo, who is it? It's Liliana of the Vale. Hey, Liliana. What's up, girl boss? Rid of Eclis I guess. <laughs> the amount of people that just like rage concede, it's, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. It makes sense. Okay, I'm not a hater. We'll see if Vatmir gets cut down. Uh, I would chill a bit and see what the mana does if you like want to build a specifically like good deck, you know. If you want to have fun, do whatever, but. My like day one craft to recommend is lizards, so. That's my uh my truth, my tea. This is mono red aggro, new version. Bulgari, even standard insidious roots. Yo, I'm so good. You can do that, Heartfire Hero. I think Boros Mice is also safe. Or tough bats, really also. Alright, let's commit some fucking crimes. Let's go! Okay, this is really like where we're happy to have that mirrors. Yeah, of course, everything will uh, will go in Moxfield when I'm done with it, you know. I always try to like, I always tune my decks a little bit as I like play with them. One or how many more crimes away from thriving? How many does he need? Four, right? Okay. Another one here. Okay. I think the Ortsov version feels a little bit better, but this plays more cart, like more newer cards, so it's a little bit it's cooler to play right now. Witch Talker fucking frenzy, dude. Dang, that's a shame and a half. All right. Not my Vadmir. We had a future together. Oh no. Bro, who are you oops who are you oopsing, bro? What the fuck? Okay. Two more slick shots. Okay. Like I say, our RNG today has been pretty rough. It's fine. Like, I would have loved to play Hostile Investigator there. It would have been a lot better. All right, I'll try to block this mouse. I'm sure they have a way to buff it. It's fine. Well, not really, but... Back <laughs> to the demo disc, yeah. <sighs> Shit. All right, we need some fucking creatures or a land. This is so wacky because then it just shoots Liliana immediately too. <sighs> frustrating, so frustrating. So frustrating. And of course, off the top. Sure, man. Hmm. Cyber bug hitting us. Yo, Anonymous, thank you for the gifty. All right, we just need efficiency. Carvac's gonna just kill us. Mm, not a whole lot of removal, but a decent future. Okay. We hit him with the nightmare. I'm gonna cut that immediately while I can. Uh, 
Oh, you kept a one-liner. Oops, oops. This is karma for them oopsing game one. Death. Mm, I don't think I need any of this. We can do better. Let's play Shelly. That's playing out a little better. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of Fountain Port. There's no way they can afford to sacrifice a land, so I'll gain two with Shelly. Pretty sweet. Yo, Rissa, what's up? You're struggling so much with the lands tonight. Nah, I feel it. Like, <laughs> I'm struggling with these draws too. My RNG is, uh, it's gone. I'm in the struggle bus. Hopefully we can do it again. Mm, I mean, it could be a nice curve. Let's fucking go. Yeah, <laughs> an unfortunate thing, you know? Um, yeah, I think it would have, I think it existed at one point in time. Yeah, it was nice while it was there. I was pretty happy to have RNG. I was pretty, pretty, uh, excited for that. All right, I'm gonna get rid of Squee. Fuck you, Squee. Very scary to let a slick shot live, but it's not going crazy at the moment. Yet. I need some removal up in here. I guess I'll take a land. No removal when we're playing like four go for the throats, four cut downs, three Lilianas. Um, too long advice. <laughs> it's fine, dude. It's fine. I've never, like, never worried in my life. Surely. Surely we're thriving. It's all good. It's all good. You can only race, I fear. What's Libby's favorite thing about me? I don't know. She's passed the fuck out. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's passed the fuck out. It's been hong shu for like the entire time. <laughs> if she ever wakes up, you can ask her again. <laughs> she catches up on infinite sleep whenever she's in the Netherlands. Everything about her. Mm. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. Probably. Um, mm, hearts. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Yeah. Probably the unconditional love. Let's just put it like that. Yeah. Her passing the fuck out always. Yeah. Right. Oh, how cute. I hope the monorad player is disconnected now. <laughs> yeah. Put me on the spot, get a little shy. Oh, well. Oh, they're disconnected. Oh, oops. Guess who's disconnected? Oops. Oopsie. Wow, these banded talents are going to make them deal like... Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> still, she would definitely still love me if I was... <laughs> if I was a worm, that's for sure. That's for sure she would. They're fake DC'd? I have no idea. This person was mad from the start with their oopses.
The power of love has proven to decimate mono red. <laughs> That's all you need. You struggle against mono red, open yourself to love. <laughs> I don't want it to turn into a worm for real. Yeah. I'm good. Are they like faking it or what? Like, I don't know what's going on. I feel like they might be. I don't know. I'm suspicious, but we kill them anyways because we sack this artifact and then they lose two up on, on upkeep with the Brent, the Bennett's talent. That was so weird. I don't know. Anyways, wish they didn't oops us game one. Aha ha. Aha ha. Thank you.